Well, good morning and welcome to the final day of Reflections on a Life of Worship. And day seven, we're going to be looking at living a life that reflects continual worship of God. Now, Romans 12.1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And this is your true and proper worship. Now Romans 12, 1 calls believers to a life of worship that extends beyond the specific acts of rituals. This verse teaches us that worship is not confined to songs of poor prayers, but it is a holistic way of living that honours God. Offering ourselves as a living sacrifice means dedicating every aspect of our lives, our thoughts, our actions, decisions and resources to God. This continual surrender to God's will is is the essence of true worship. And the call to be holy and pleasing to God is a reminder that our everyday choices and behaviours are acts of worship. Now holiness in in this context is about aligning our lives with God's standards and purposes And that's about pursuing purity, integrity and compassion and love in our interactions and decisions. And when we live out these values, we demonstrate worship in action, making our lives a testimony to God's transformative power. So as we make a conscious effort to incorporate our faith into our our daily decisions, This can range from the the ethical choices at work or the way you interact with family and friends. And each choice is made in alignment with God's principles in an act of worship. So serve others as an act of worship and look for opportunities to serve others in in our communities. Your acts of service, whether big or small, are practical expressions of worship. So serving others not only reflects God's love, but honours him and spreads his message of grace and compassion. So as we contemplate on how each part of our day can become an opportunity to worship God, Let's reflect on how how our routines and our activities like work, conversation and leisure can be conducted in a way that honours God. And let's consider the areas of our lives where aligning more closely with God's call uh, can transform ordinary moments into acts of worship. So I want to thank you for joining me on uh, this, this journey through a life of worship this week. And I look forward to next week um, starting a new series and uh, of reflections. And uh, so until then, I will see you then.